We are live. We're back. This is quit. This is quitting your shitty job and thriving in real estate. Take two. <laughs> All right, Mike. I appreciate you inviting me um, to the show. Um, yeah, man. Let's uh, let's do this without technical difficulties this time, man. All right. Let's go. So I'm like. Clean slate, okay, man. I uh, I deleted the old uh, the old Facebook post, and, and we're starting over again, man. Because um, I know there's a lot of people that that obviously they they want to hear what we have to say. Uh, there are a lot of people. The whole reason I wanted to do this with you, especially, is because, um, well, I mean, number one, you've done it, right? You've 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 quit your job, and and now you're thriving in real estate. Uh, but number two, I know there's a lot of people out there who uh, either want to work in real estate uh, full time. They're working part time right now and they want to work in real estate full time. They already have a license or they are curious about working in real estate and would like to quit their full time job and come full time into real estate. And so the whole reason I wanted to do this was to talk to you about your specific or your unique experience in doing that, because um, one thing we won't one thing we won't do is try to lay this out as, as something that's easy to do. Right. And because I don't want to undermine uh, your success uh, and and uh, the hard work that you did to actually transition into the industry. Um, but what what I do want to lay it out what I what I do want to do is I want to lay it out as as more of a roadmap so that other people can follow um, who actually want to do what you did. So why don't we do this? Let's um, let's start off by telling our audience a little more about you. Um, not, we don't have to specifically get into where you were working, but how you felt about where you were working and then, you know, how you found out about real estate and then how you transitioned into real estate. Okay. So I'll let you go. Awesome. So I'll start out with saying, um, I, I love the title, <laughs> How to Quit Your Shitty Job. Um, I'll, I'll start out with saying, prefacing everything I'm about to say as I never labeled my former job as such. Um, I am, I am fully, um, you know, thankful and grateful for that part of my journey because ultimately everything that we're doing here, it, it is a phase and a journey in our lives. And, uh, what I was doing before that was, um, it fulfilled something in, in me to, um, serve others, which ultimately I, I'll get into that is, um, helping me with my business now and that's, um, serving others. So. I'm really grateful for that part of my life. Um, it was um, it was great. Um, I wouldn't label it as um, shitty, but um, there were reasons why I um, started thinking about business and real estate. And um, of course, that comes that is you know with the financial benefits that comes with it if um, you're willing to do the work. Mm -hmm. um, so I was expelling all of this energy um, in passion and time into this thing and i was serving others and but i wasn't really serving like when i looked deep down like am i really serving my family am i really serving my children um to get them in a different place um financially and um giving something for them handing something to them one day um the answer to that was no I was giving to others and I love giving to others, but and was I really giving to my family, my children? Um, the answer was no. Um, so I needed to find a way to expel that passion and it's something that was going to benefit um, mine as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, how I got into real estate, um, a few months before I actually did, um, it really just came to me one day. I can't explain it. And I started thinking about it and um, I started paying attention to advertisements and stuff like that. People looking for agents on, uh, you know, teams and agents and brokerages, something I never really thought of. I did have in the back of my mind that someday I wanted to maybe own a, own a business, be a business owner. Uh, my, my originally my degrees in exercise science. I said, well, maybe I want to, um, you know, a health and wellness center or a gym or something like that. I, I wanted to be a business owner. Um, you know, life took me to where I was at. And, um, and while I was doing that, it wasn't my original thought. Um, 
you know, so that passion, that curiosity in business was always there. Um, those two things, my curiosity and my love for health and fitness um, actually led me um, to the Springboro YMCA where I actually met Mike, Mike Wall here. Um, we got, we, we got to talking, we became friends, um, uh, before, you know, before we even, we even spoke about real estate, uh, we were there every morning at 5 AM. Uh, and that's something that I just, um, I've been doing for years. And that's, it's amazing when we talk about journey, do one thing and it just can't, and it just, it, it's a great it's a compound thing. effect, right? It's a compound, a compound effect. effect. Um, discipline in one area. Um, will lead you to meeting people and new opportunities in a different area. It's 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 incredible, honestly. Um, I don't know if I've ever said it to you, but I've described to my friends and family that I, I believe that it was it was a miracle that I that I met you when I did and how I did, and it's a miracle how I got uh, into this business. And well, hold I, that thought, hold that thought real quick, because like w- one thing that, and, and this is for all you team leaders out there. Um, and future team leaders is that one thing that, you know, you always want to be looking for talent um, and not necessarily always in the real estate field. Right. Um, and and you, you and I, we talked several times before, you know, we even talked about you getting your real estate license. But one thing I knew about you is that you were consistent. Right. So some of the qualities I'm looking for are people that um, obviously they, they can they can get up early consistently right and but right. just because and and then you can and and obviously you you you're well spoken um and you, you just had all these different characteristics I think that just made so much sense and then you know meeting you and talking to you over time and discovering you who you were as a person I knew that you would be a fit for this industry and I knew that we could provide you. Um, the tools and resources you needed in order to, to, to go out and, and achieve you know, all your personal and financial goals. Right. Yeah, absolutely. So, no, you I, I can totally see that, um, you know, some of the attributes or um, I don't know what word, you know, qualities I had because it wasn't naturally I had to discipline myself, my mind, mostly my mind and my body to dedicate myself to getting that up that at that hour, because at that hour, it was, it's, it's the quietest time of the day, especially when you have children or you have it and you have a job and um, things like that. Our phones go off at this time of day. They don't then. Um, So that discipline led me to a place of meeting other disciplined people who were like-minded. So, I mean, I think it's, um, it's 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 an ama- it's amazing thing how everything just pieced itself together that led me here because if you would have told me when I was in college, um, you know when when they were, I was handed my my diploma that I was going to end up with a career in real estate, I mean I I, I wouldn't have believed it because um, it's not something at the time that I thought of then. Um, so, anyways, that's the background we met. Um, we um, talked that we ended up talking about the business. And I told you, you asked me, I, I remember exactly. You said, have you ever thought about real estate? And I said, mm-hmm. yeah, I actually have. And previously, before you asked me that question, that's when I started to pay attention, listening and watching and stuff like that. And um, I actually, I had a great, when I purchased my last house, I had a great experience with a realtor. Um, she might see this. Um, she, she was fantastic. And I, after I got licensed, I actually apologized to her because she would have had a client for life because she was awesome. Her name's Jenny, Jenny Howard. Um, and I was just like, she's really, you know, dead. So that was that was really inspiring to me because she was great at her job and very caring. Um, now, looking back at that, I'm like, gosh, I was probably an annoying client. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, and I've told her that, too. But um you know, those things compiled and then meeting you, I'm like, yes, absolutely. Let's do this. And cause I was looking to get out of this rut, um, you know, this financial rut, um, living paycheck to paycheck, um, you know, really, really grinding it out to uh, make ends meet. And, um, you know, that doesn't, that's not a sustainable hap- life for happiness, you know? 
Uh, money isn't everything, but it, you know, you you don't want to live like that because essentially it's 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 going to rob from other areas of your life, your health, stress, and things like yeah. that. Yeah. You know, what I, I mean? I, like I, I knew like with, with you specifically because I know more about your situation than most people uh, watching here, and I don't want to. I don't want to get into the specifics of your situation, but I know that you were, I, I, it wasn't a dead end job. That's a bad way to put it because it was a part of your experience. It was a part right. of your journey, but it, it didn't, there was nothing really there for you long-term and you certainly right. weren't passionate about it. Um, and I think that, so that was part of the recipe needed in order for you to take the next steps, uh, take a leap of faith in what I was saying, and then take a leap of faith in yourself in knowing that you could do that, right? And it's right. not anything that happened overnight. We all know that, and that's what I want to talk about. Right? Is that it took it took several months before you know, um, and, and and you know, backstory is you know, you have a family, you have two kids, but it took several months before you were at a place to where you felt com comfortable and confident that you could actually quit your job and go yeah. full time into real estate. Because let's face it. Um, for those watching and, and the folks that will listen in the future who are considering a, a career in real estate, you know, when you if you have a steady paycheck that you're getting every biweekly, right, or on the first and the fifteenth, and you go from a place uh, to where that is consistently coming in to when you go into real estate, you know, you if you don't sell, you don't eat. You know what I mean? And so at some point, you've got to you've got to get yourself. Um, and your financial situation into a place to where you feel comfortable and confident enough that you can take that leap right. so that when you do, you never look back. And at this point in your life, the, one of the great qualities about you is you have never looked back. Right. And, you know, you 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 had a, a conversation with 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 John Welski, our partner, about what specifically you needed to do. And John asked you to save up X amount of money. Right. Mm -hmm. Based on the amount of income you needed over the next few months to sustain yourself. And so talk about the one, one thing I want to be crystal clear on here is, is make sure if you're going to quit your job and go full time into real estate, number one, that you are at a place to where people care about your success. Okay. Right. I would say that is number one, because if you don't have a roadmap to get to where you want to go, you could potentially land yourself in some hot water. And right. for Jeremy, I think that the one of one of your one of your greatest attributes is the fact that you really never ask questions. We we you 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 were humble and hungry enough that when you started with us, that you said, you know what, I'm giving this to you. You show me what to do, and I'm going to go do it. And you right. went and did it right. And right. like you're on track this year to probably have your best year ever and you're doing more of your sphere of influence business yeah. than you've ever done before. And this mm -hmm. is exactly the roadmap we asked you to follow. Yeah. And you're absolutely crushing it because of that. So yeah. talk about that a little bit. Yeah. I mean, going, going back to the first thing you made, um, I, I met with you and John several times. Um, one of the one-on-ones I had with John, he was very specific in laying out, um, the financial, um, my what I needed for a financial goal. So I, I very specifically told him what I needed, um, what I needed monthly and the goal I needed to save, um, what money I needed to save in order to reach that goal. But I'm just like, one of my questions to John was like, okay, first of all, I couldn't believe that I would ever have the possibility of saving that amount of money um, to get started here. And I'm like, but John, I, I'm going to have this money, but I have this debt I could pay off. And you know, in the meantime, because one that's one of my big financial goals is like just to wipe away this debt. And, um, you know, but I have this money. I could just I could knock this out. And he told me. Not yet. OK, here's what you need to do. Save that money. Pay X, X and that X towards this. But maintain this number to give yourself so you don't have to completely freak out and stress. And, you know, at that time I had, you know, I had business, you know, in the pipeline deals going and um, things in the future. So I was feeling good about it. Um, and just, I tell you what, if it just, it, it happened a lot sooner than I thought. Um, I was, I, I was even giving myself another, another year 
but it just it just it just happened and i don't want to say it just happened it took a lot of work um you know myself and you guys to get me there but it it it, it just it just did it's you know it's a huge blessing that i that i have been able to experience um the business that i have um and just now starting now my third year in real estate and um yeah you know but i but i listened to that roadmap and trusted the people i you know was getting advice from now i would tell anybody who's watching who's curious about this surround yourself with good mentors guys because if i i i can tell you this if i was by myself and decided to do this on my own it would have been a whole lot harder um because i wouldn't have listened to that from the people who've been there so you know just like we tell our consumers somebody you know like and trust you i mean it's essential um surround yourself with people who you know like and trust that um that care about your success yeah yeah and that 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 so exemplifies i think you know the system and and um and the foundation we're trying to lay here i think the biggest misconception about teams is and, and i get this right see i understand because i too started out on a team um, and, you know, I think most people, the misconception about teams is that that you go in um, and you work for, you know, uh, one agent. Right. You're 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 toeing the line for one agent. And like a lot of teams are set up that way. Mm -hmm. And certainly I understand that model. And I think it is a great model for agents to come in, um, learn how the operation works, start to build a pipeline and then potentially go out on your own, right? And right. we set our business up a little bit differently so that I took my name, my branding off of the company and we branded as a team, the Love Ohio Living Team, right? And cool. so, and what I did, the reason why I set, I set it up that way is because I wanted a sustainable business model that agents could simply plug into that didn't have the tools and resources. Um, you know, they didn't wanna make the monthly investment on lead generation. Uh, they didn't they didn't have the money to pay for a full staff, but they had the work ethic. You had the work ethic. Right. Right. That was that's the missing component. Right. We can provide everything else. We can provide everything else, but we cannot provide the work ethic. And so when I was when I was talking to you for the first time, the one thing I saw is persistence and the work ethic. Right. And so if I can find people for our system with persistence and work ethic. I know that I can plug them in because I can give them all the tools to go out and sell 100, 150, 300 homes a year, right? I can give you contract right. management. I can give you listing management. I can give you marketing. I can give right. you all the things, but what I cannot do is I cannot give you the work ethic. And when we plug your work ethic into our systems, that's why, you know, that that's the recipe for the success that you're having. Right. And so, and so, you like you're at a different level now than when I met you, obviously, when you first got into the business. So let's really dig into the specifics, right? Because I know that's why people are staying tuned into what we're saying is specifically, right? How did you work this plan out? Because you had a job where I, I believe your hours where you went in like at what? You went in at 7 like 8, 7 a.m. in the morning. You got off at like 3 or 3.30, something yeah, like that. 3 o'clock, yeah. Something and so for, 2 or 3. So for a full year, at least a full year, you did that and you would show up here at the office at, you know, 3.30 or, 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 or 3.45 and then you would plug in, right? And, and, and then you would start to do your lead generation for, you know, the, the, the last half of the day. Right. And that's the, I told you when we sat down, you got to make a commitment, right? It's going to be harder for you than anybody else because... There are 4,500 other agents just in our local MLS that are competing for the same paycheck you are, and right. they got more time to do it. But here's where you can beat them. You can beat them with consistency, right? And you, so you took a flyer on that, and you said, you know what, Mike? <clears throat> I'm going to do it. I can, I can show up, and I can do my lead generation, and you were consistent about doing it, and now look where it's gotten you. So I just that, that's what I want to point out is, is if you are considering the move, then you, I, I'm telling you right out of the gate, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be harder than than it would be if you were doing this full time. Yeah. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the first thing you have to do is work out a schedule, right? Mm -hmm. Jeremy and I sat down, we worked out a schedule. John and Jeremy sat down and they worked out a budget. 
So it's 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 essential that you plan your transition um, down to you know the dollar, down to the minute, and that's what we did. And so we, we dedicate if we know if we knew that that the best times to be on the phones doing your lead generation are from eight to ten and from four to six. Well, you couldn't do eight to ten, right? But you could do four to six. Right. And so you committed to doing that four to six lead generation time. You started to build your pipeline. And when you build your pipeline, you build your contracts. And when you build your contracts, you build your closings. And when you build your closings, you build your bank account. And that's what you did. You parked 10, 15 grand in an account. You knew where you needed to be and you pulled the trigger. Yeah. So, you know, obviously there's there's more logistical pieces to this than that. Right. I mean, you ha obviously we we people are wondering, well, who'd you call? Where, where are your, what are your lead sources, right? And, and certainly we can dive into all that, but if we're talking, you know, big picture roadmap, I think that, you know, you made the most out of the situation that you were given. So, right. so talk a little bit about like your, talk about your mindset to that. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, you know, it, it kind of, it comes down to you betting on yourself and um, your own discipline, which, look and i don't ever it's not in my nature to be arrogant or pompous in any way but i would i would put my dedication and work ethic to something that i believe in and want uh, next to anyone because i already have trained my mind and trained my body to do something whether you like it or not and i mean everybody has heard or listened to a mentor that says successful people will do what they have to do, whether they like it or not. And I knew that I was confident in myself um, to do the things that I didn't necessarily want to do on certain days. Um, you know, I, you, I think it was two or three weeks within, within being licensed. Um, I had two contracts on the table and those, both of those contracts came from the lead generation that I was doing, you know, after work. And, um, you know, right off the bat, you know, my, I think the first time I sat down to do lead generation, I was at my house and, um, I contacted two people and I immediately text Mike. I was like, Oh my gosh, people answered. It's happening. You know? And, you know, it was super exciting. Um, you know, and, um, so I, it, it took a level of dedication. You have, you have to do it whether you like it or not. And I'll, I'll use the example of exercise. People are like, I, I wasn't motivated. I, it, I, it confuses me because not everyone thinks I'm like, what do you mean you weren't motivated? Like I, neither was I, <laughs> I, I would have loved to sleep at, you know, same thing with this. Um, it, it takes, it, it takes you doing it whether you like it or not, because we're all human. We all have weakness. We all have moments of weakness. And, um, you know, as soon as I was experiencing, you know, I was getting deals while I was working and it was going well. And um, it, so it, it was happening. And um, just I, I was able to get to that level where I needed to be before I, um, you know, I said goodbye there. And, um, and I, failure wasn't an option. You know what I mean? Failure wasn't yeah. an option for you. And, you know, most people, there's an 85% failure rate uh, in real estate your first year. And, and then, yeah. Of the P of those 80 of those 15% that make it, there's an 85% failure rate of those 15% in the second year. So yeah. this is not an easy job. You know what I mean? And um, I, I think that the, the, the important component was obviously your will and your drive to succeed. Right. Right. That, that was, that was probably first and foremost. Um, but the, secondarily it was, it was being able to, to plug into um, to a system uh, that was actually going to show you results or help give you results. Right. Yeah. And, you know, and so like now looking back on that situation and where you're at now, what does the future look like for you, man? So, uh, you know, where I'm at right now, I am, um, you know, I'm, I'm so, so happy and blessed to be around the people that I have. And, you know, I love it here. I love the XP Realty. I love the LOL team. Um, so looking ahead, just kind of forecasting the rest of my year, um, you know, as, as I was planning at the end of last year and looking at what's, what I have going on, I mean, already it's just, 
quicker than I ever thought. I'm busier than I ever thought I would be in February. Um, you know, it, 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 you, you mentioned it's not easy and things happen. Before we kind of on live here, we were sharing war stories about things that are not going well in our business right now. We have to deal with those situations a lot. But there, but you know what? Something you've always told me when you have a loss, it's easier to put that loss aside and go ahead. You know, we're both, you know, we get off here, we're going to appointments where we still have more to do today because we had our losses earlier today. But, you know, we have more people to help now. And um, so that's where I need to sh shift my focus. So there are losses and you're going to endure loss in this business but it's enduring it and staying persistent. Um, but if you just, you take, you take it and you're going to grow from it. And, um, you know, when I have a loss, it's easier to swallow when, um, the rest of my business is going so well. Yeah, and, um, absolutely. you know, I, I have a lot of great people that are, um, you know, I'm fortunate enough to trust me to help them. So, so talk, so talk about the impact that, um, because you don't, the only thing you know in real estate is working on a real estate team. Right. And, and to me, it's a blessing and a curse, right? Um, sure. The, the, the blessing is that, um, you, that you have, like in, in, in the seat I'm sitting in, is that I know we can provide you all the tools that you need to have the success, whatever success you want in real estate. The curse is that there's the, the unknown, right? There's mm -hmm. the, um, you know, well, I could make a higher commission split working somewhere else or on my own. Right. Um, and, and that may be a reality is, is that you might get a higher commission split, but I, what I can guarantee you is you won't make more money. And right. so I, I, I want, I want people to understand the impact that you being on a team, what is the team specifically meant to you? Okay. So it, being on the team, I, when I was going through school and I already knew where I was going, a lot of my friends and classmates in there, they didn't know where they were going yet. And, um, a couple of people that I had made friends with in class, um, you know, I, I, I tried to encourage them. I really had no leg to stand on that the team at the time, cause we had nowhere to start, but, um, I'm like, listen, man, you got a great thing here. And, uh, I, I still might be trying to get them. Um, to yeah. think about it because how are they you know, doing, they, by the way? They, uh, um, a couple, the one I'm speaking of, she, she's doing great now. Um, but, she, and I think she would tell, she would tell you me on my video. It took her a lot longer because she would reach out to me and say, you are doing great. How is this happening? I said, we need to talk about this. I re I, I think this, I think you'd be perfect for it. Um, She's doing great now, but it took her a lot longer, no doubt about it. Um, so for the team, um, you know, as I got more experience and learned the ropes, learned how to lead generate, um, write contracts, write, li write up listings and uh, manage deals from both sides, uh, you know, you get I don't want to say arrogant because it isn't a place of arrogant. I just know what I'm doing now. Now I still have great resources. Our contract manager is the best in the world. Absolutely amazing. And, um, you know, I've learned so much from handling these situations from her. Um, and I like what she does isn't what I would be necessarily good at. You know, um, I think I could manage it, but not with the efficiency and the top level that she handles. Um, so I reached this. So I reached this level of success to where I wanted to be. I'm like, hang on, and and with that comes, um, you know, you make friends in the business, and here they come. You know, they want to know about you, and they want to they want to recruit you to where they're at. And um, when you're getting this left and right, you're like, oh man, yeah, I I could get this higher commission split. But then really, when I think about it, and actually sit down at the numbers and think about that money that I saved and why I was able to save it and make that, I'm like, mm, it, it just doesn't, you know, it, it just, it just didn't, it didn't make sense yeah. yet. You, and, you were um, never about, you, 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 the, the one part that was really good about you is you were never tainted by the whole commission split thing. Right. Um, because at the end of the day, if I ask you, 
do you do you want to make a higher commission split or do you want to make more money? I'd which like to you, make. I would like to make more pay? money. Yeah, man. At the end of the day, isn't that that's what it's all about? What you're putting in the bank is what it's all about, and and so that's the decision you chose. And I knew that we could help you make more money because we, we, we this is a business, like it's not a hobby, right? We, we're, we're setting it up so that real estate agents like Jeremy, uh, who, who are, we know are great at being in front of buyers or sellers, don't have to do a bunch of administrative work, right? right. They don't have to do the non-dollar productive activities that aren't generating them any income. Right. He's able to exclusively spend his time uh, in in his higher dollar productive activities, like lead generating, right? Like 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 being in front, of, being on appointments, being in front of buyers and sellers, and negotiating contracts. Right. Those are the things that make you money, and our right. system is set up so that that's all he has to do. Right. And and so, you know, what I want to be real clear about here is that because I I definitely like. You obviously, man, the re whole reason I have you on here is because like uh, you, you've you worked the system perfectly, man. And you've to see your growth and success has just been one of the most outstanding accomplishments. Um, more than any amount of homes we've sold, more than anything else we've done is just to see your, your personal growth uh, and your journey has been one of the most rewarding things. And right. so I I. I I felt almost compelled to have you on to tell your story to set the record straight actually about what we do over here, because I think yeah. there are a lot of misconceptions right. and, you know, certainly um, we are, we want to be more transparent about uh, our business model because we know not only can we help Jeremy, but we can help other agents who are just missing those components in their business right. and help them provide the tools and resources and the coaching that they need in order to find success in order to go out and sell 50, 100, 150 homes a year, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, something something that you um, you were told me early on to approach this um, as as a business owner and not necessarily an agent. Um, when I introduce myself to a stranger, I call myself I, I I'm a realtor. I never say I'm an agent. Um, not that that's a bad thing. Um, being an agent is what we are, but. Um, I don't want to think like just an agent transactionally. Um, I want to think like a business owner long term. Um, you know, every every wealthy person you read their books or listen to their podcast, they're like they have multiple streams of income. They don't think short term. They have their eyes always on something else. And um, I think just just thinking that way alone isn't going to like pigeonhole you into thinking like just transactionally. Um, so that's something that I've been able to grow in my business from just from, you know, the, the call, the, the prospecting, which is very important. Um, I've been able to shift um, that success into putting it into other areas. And so now it's all coming together as a business, not just a transaction. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and what, what's what's great about, you, you know, um, the work you're doing right now is that, uh, you know, you're you are in, in when we, we talk weekly and, you know, we we run a mastermind group on Mondays and we all give input. And I'm, I, I so enjoy that, man. That's one of the that's yeah. one of the highlights of my week is is being able to bring our, our high level people in and and just um, and talk about the market, talk about their their personal businesses and everybody give input. And, you know, one thing about you, um, because now we started, you and I and, and some of the other mastermind members have started a kind of a, a, a project on our own where we're going into a specific marketplace and we're interviewing local business owners, right? And we're getting some traction yeah. because what we're trying to do is we're trying to build that sphere of influence business, right? Right. Because we know, we know that's where the money is and we can, I don't want to say take our foot off the gas, but you know, that referral business, the business that you don't have to chase is much, it's obviously much easier than the outbound or inbound business, right? And so the components that you're really winning at in your business right now, and we have not even added it in an outbound component, right? You're you're crushing it right now with your sphere and you're crushing it with inbound, right? Mm -hmm. So you're, you're, you know, we're providing you the leads that you need and then you're going out and you're tapping into your sphere to, to, to generate that, early, that other 33.3% of your business. 
Right. And, you know, and so what we, what we did out of the gate is we had a plan for you. We were going to master inbound lead generation. In other words, we would generate leads online, right. With our commissions Inc platform, we would give them to Jeremy and Jeremy would be charged with getting a hold of that buyer or seller, developing a rapport and then, and then helping them buy or sell a home. Right. And then right. Jeremy aced that portion of the business, right. You got really good at it. Yeah. And then the next step, was to go out and start building your sphere of influence business because right. you you make more money on our team going after sphere of influence. We right. we pay a higher commission split because we're not investing as much money of our own personal resources into going out and buying leads or anything of that sort. Right. But you, and now you're starting to master that part of the business, and then and then you know eventually we'll add in an outbound component or we'll bring in um, you know a, 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 a VA to help you call. Uh, outbound leads to create better call lists for you so yeah. that, you know, that you're spending y your time uh, as productive as possible. So, right. so talk about, um, t I mean, you, you see real estate so differently now, right? I and mean, you had no idea all this stuff was going on, but no. you know, we're, we're as transparent as, as we can be. And like, ultimately if, if you go out on your own one day and you're doing this on your own, it would be, it would, I, that would be like the ultimate for me, right? And the great thing about our business model, especially at EXP, is we're rewarded for that. We're rewarded right. for helping grow agents like yourself into mega agents who go out and build their own team and do their own thing. And so, right. you know, that was one of the that was one of the reasons why we moved from Keller Williams to EXP is because we knew we could provide you a better platform to create long term wealth for you and your family. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll start to put a bow on this one for now, but um, I, I, I want to get any, any last thoughts um, uh, about you, uh, anything you want to share with the audience? Yeah, um, just kind of recapping about what, what you just said. Um, you mentioned, um, you know, mastering one portion of the business, every, every three portions, inbound, outbound, you know, sphere, 33.3% um, of it. Um, and so I was experiencing a lot of success here and not so much from my sphere of influence and anyone who knows like sphere of influence, family, friends, people who already know, like, and trust you, people who've known you for years, um, known you before you were um, in the business. Um, and something that we, you know, came together in our mastermind group was um, this video series about interviewing and really getting out into the community. And this is something that I am so excited about because that passion that I told you about, about helping others at the beginning of the interview that I was pouring into my old job. And honestly, for a little while, I was a little hurt for missing that because I was serving. So I needed to find another way to sincerely, sincerely serve others without any benefit to myself. And this series that I'm doing is reaching out to these small business owners that it's really just, it's giving them a boost and they're just so appreciative to it. And now I'm to the point to where um, I have to schedule these interviews because they're coming toward me and that's great. And um, I'm doing it with a giving heart and not expecting a result from it because I know if I help enough people in business or anywhere get what they want, I'm a, I, it's, it's, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get what I want. you just got a Ziggler on me? You would just yeah, got a Zig Ziglar on totally. me. Totally. Yeah, I mean, it, it, and it's so true. And I said this in my um, my my last interview on Friday. Um, it has to be genuine because people will sniff you out. And I and something that I'm so thrilled about the results um, is because I I can see it when I'm speaking to these people. They're so thankful because obviously here on social media, I have I, I have a big big platform with the people in the business and consumers because. I just bring, I add as many people as I can and to get to know me. And so when I can help them and I just see the gratitude and it just makes me feel, it makes me feel great. And I just, I just love what we're doing with that. Love it, brother. Love it, man. Well, I so appreciate you taking some time out of your busy day to share with, <laughs> uh, with myself and our audience. Um, I have no doubt you'll go out and sell at least 50 homes this year, man. Cause that's just, that's just the type of person you are. Um, and, and I, I'm, I just want to reiterate about how, how, how proud I am of you, I guess, first of all, but how rewarding it is to have been able to experience or be a part of your personal journey 
um, to watch you become the person that you are and accomplish the things that you're accomplishing, man. So kudos to you, man. Thank, Thank you for you. that. Thank you so much. All right, brother. We'll put a bow on this one, man. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye.